Weather by its very nature is chaotic, unpredictable, with numerous variables affecting the weather around us at any one time. Just a small change in one can have a large effect thousands of miles away, making forecasting the weather an inherently difficult task. Imagine dropping a stick in a river and trying to work out where that stick will end up in a minute, in an hour, in five days. To achieve this, you could use a computer to model the shape of the river and calculate how much water is in the river and how fast it is flowing. In theory, this should make tracking the stick easy, particularly with a powerful computer. And indeed it could, under perfect conditions. However, perfect conditions are not always guaranteed. A large rock dropped into the river would change the flow of the water. Only slightly at first, but that small change will pass down the river, significantly affecting the computer's initial prediction of where the stick will end up. We might still know how far it's going to travel, but we are now slightly less certain about exactly where it is going to be. At this point, we have to start talking about where the stick is most likely to be, rather than where the stick will be. Throw in a few more rocks and allow for part of the bank falling in. All of a sudden, we are a lot less certain about where exactly our stick is likely to be at any one time. This task encapsulates the difficulties faced by weather forecasters, except they are looking at multiple sticks in three dimensions across an enormous area. When it comes to weather forecasting, two key words are confidence and uncertainty. Thinking back to the stick in the river, if we know that at one point the river will widen significantly, we can be confident that there will be a great deal of uncertainty when the stick reaches this area. Likewise, in weather forecasting, sometimes the best that a forecast can do is to allow the forecaster to be very confident that there is a great deal of uncertainty incoming. Some weather types are more predictable than others, some less so, and the nearer we get to the time, the more certain we can be. Even over short time frames, there can be uncertainty about what is going to happen. It then becomes about probability. What is most likely? Looking a long way into the future, it is not possible to say what will happen at a specific point in time. Imagine pointing to a particular spot 200 miles down a wide river and saying, in eight days time, the stick will be precisely here. It might be, but it's little more than a guess. The stick could have ended up in one of many places.